there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with these shoes right here. We're looking at the red ones first and then we'll flip it out and take a look at the green ones next. Uh, and, uh, and then back to those red ones. So you've got these two Adidas artillery highs coming out, uh, one green, one red, and it's all tied up with two different Let's go with current things. Uh, the currenter of the, the two is Kid Cudi, uh, and then the less current of the two is Bill and Tez. Now, I was born in 1976. I'm 44 years old, even though I look about 84 years old. Uh, so uh, Bill and Tez is very much of my era. Uh, the very first Bill and Tez movie came out, Bill and Tez Excellent Adventure, I think in 1989, and then it was followed up by its sequel in 1991, Bill and Tez Bogus Journey. Uh, but then they waited, uh, what is that, 30 years, 29 years uh, to bring out the third installment, Bill and Ted's, uh, Bill, it's not Bill and Ted's, is it? Bill and Ted Face the Music. So the first two had that Bill and Ted's in it and now Bill and Ted Face the Music, which uh, dropped, didn't drop, movies don't drop, uh, which went into the cinemas recently. Uh, but it's another victim of the COVID era, unfortunately, the drop date, and there we go again, uh, in the movie theaters, uh, bounced around all over the place. Uh, August, September, October, kind of, uh, couldn't kind of pin it down. And eventually they were like, oh, oh you're August 28th. And I think it just, I don't know, it didn't quite work out for Bill and Ted's and I think uh, it suffered there but you know what the Metacritics and the Rotten Tomatoes and all those kind of places uh, are actually saying this uh, this uh, film is getting good reviews uh, and it's not that bad even though the box office really isn't taken off which is mainly a coronavirus issue so uh, so the third installment of the Bill and Ted's comes out this year but it's really the second installment that I'm interested in I think, uh, because it's Bill and Ted's bogus journey where this shoe first appeared, uh, according to me. And now, according to websites out there, some of them, they're saying it was actually the first uh, installment in 1989, the excellent adventure where the shoe first appeared in the, the trilogy. But for me, actually, it's the second one. I think they've got that wrong on the sneaker websites, but, uh, but I might be wrong myself. And if I am, let me know in the comments down below, but I'm surely showing you a picture uh, of, I think it's Bill, uh, wearing uh, the green pair, I think I'm right in saying, for the, the movies. And that's where they sort of started their life out. Now, the thing is, they're talking about Kid Cudi tying it up with Adidas and the Bill and Ted's line to bring you these shoes, but I just don't see any Kid Cudi Cudi in there. I don't know why they're saying it is uh, Kid Cudi. Now, I'm so old, so old, I don't even know who Kid Cudi is. I've never even heard of him. Uh, and there's a bunch of people shouting at me right now saying, you what? Um, sorry, I haven't heard of him. Um, but that's just the way, it, you know, it rolls. That's the way life happens. Sometimes you get to a certain age and you kind of start sort of stop paying attention. So uh, so if you know more about Kid Cudi than I do, and if you know how Kid Cudi is tied up, he's an American rapper apparently, and a bit more than that. There's a I checked Wikipedia. It's like American rapper, songwriter, fashion model. You know all this kind of stuff. So uh, um, if you know more about him than I do, you know feel free to let us all know in the comments down below. Uh, and if you know where he ties it up with these two shoes, because I can't see it. I can see I can see the Bill and Ted's tie up, but I can't see the Kid Cudi. Tie -up. Uh, then definitely let us know in the comments down below and also uh, if you know more about the drop because I know it's coming on November the 12th uh, and I get that information from a UK website uh, which makes me think it might be a UK or EU centric drop because I'm not seeing these shoes anywhere else so they might not be dropping in the States and places like that so if you know more about where these guys are going to drop please let me know because I'm just not seeing them out there but all that being said, they are really cool shoes. It was actually the shoes that got me into this. I was like scanning through uh, websites, looking for an upcoming release to talk to you guys about today. And this is the one that caught my eye just because I like to look at the shoe. And then when I dug into it, I was like, oh, okay, there's a rapper in there. There's a movie in there. Maybe this has uh, got a little bit more to it than I thought it did. So without further ado, let's get into this and have a look at both of the colorways that are coming real soon from Adidas for the Adidas Torsion Artillery High. By Bill and Ted's and Kid Cudi. This is the Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel. Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel is my niche up soon all day, my niche meeting them side. And every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And this one right here, I'm shooting the video on October the 24th, and the sneaker is due to drop on November the 12th. Uh, the video will probably go up onto YouTube something like October the 28th, so maybe two weeks before drop date, which is just where I like to put my videos so that people can get some information before thinking about getting their hands on the shoe. Uh, so today, that's what we'll do. We'll have a little 
look through that. A uh, quick update on the channel is that everything is as it was in yesterday's video uh, where I talked about how I'm borrowing a computer to keep on being able to churn out content, but that means I'm back on iMovie instead of Filmora so the green screen won't be working as well because Filmora's green screen function is much better than iMovie. Sorry, Apple. Uh, and uh, and I hopefully we'll get my computer back soon and we'll be able to get back to the highest quality content. Um, but I'm still managing to churn out the daily content. So, you know, that's that's surely counts for something. Uh, now, um, I don't know what I've been putting behind me here because I always put the pictures up last. You know, obviously I don't know. I can't physically put the pictures on a green screen. You put them in to the video ed editor after you've shot the video. But hopefully what we're trained in on is the red shoe. And we're going to stay trained in on the red shoe for a while uh, because there's a secret. And the secret is about the green shoe. Uh, and that secret is that the green shoe isn't really green. Uh, and that sounds a bit odd and I'm not going to show it to you. You're going to have to wait until a couple of minutes because I'm going to go through the red shoe first because the red shoe is actually more the signature of the two uh, and the green shoe, even though it's not really green, is the second one. So let's go first and have a look at that red one. Hopefully right now you're looking at it here and you're seeing a very high high. These are really high. I mean, these are proper boots. Uh, I would say they're more akin to something that you would hike in than shoot ball in, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's the red one that you can see a lot of red signatures in there. Laces are red, but you can swap laces out um, but the swooshes that they're not swooshes oh Adidas fans out there are going to hate me for that one the three stripe branding on the side is in red and then if you go down below that just between the midsole and the upper you can see a red stripe through there as well uh, and then forward a bit from that that red is kind of continuing with a slight hit round about the quarter line so there's red built into the shoe even further back as you go up onto the ankle area red in there too so it's 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 not these are parts of the shoe that you can't take out you can't, not like laces, laces, red laces, you can take them out, replace them and put any old lace on a shoe that you want to. But the red hits on the upper of this are not removable, obviously, just like any old upper out there. But that becomes a, a signature feature when we get into the other shoe. Uh, but before we get to the other shoe, I do quickly want to go up and have a look at the tongues because the tongues on these guys uh, can be a signature when you loosen up the laces a bit and pull out the tongue into this really large piece of canvas that gives you a, a certain feel, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, and then the major signature feature of the shoes either one um, because you don't appear on the green so it's really on the reds that this is a, a factor is the name of Bill and Ted's uh, band Wild Stallions uh, wildly misspelt with a uh, Y's all over the place and too many L's and stuff like that uh, but you can see uh, this is uh, the main sort of signature feature of the red shoe although this isn't a feature on the green shoe. So without further ado, let's actually have a look at that green shoe and I'll bring it up right now uh, and show it to you. Hopefully you're seeing what I mean. Um, I, you know, If I've explained the red shoe clearly enough, you should be able to look at the green shoe right now and say, oh, I see what you mean about that not being actually a green shoe. Uh, because what we're talking about is that the, the green shoe only has green laces. And like I said, for the red shoe, you can easily take those laces out and replace them. Uh, but any of the red hits, and we'll bring back that red shoe and remind you about the three stripe branding and the, the red hits down towards the midsole and then if you go back a bit uh, towards the ankle area these are red inbuilt hits and back to the green shoe uh, you can see that none of it's green it's all black uh, so if you took off those green laces the green the green is gone uh, and you'd be left with a black and white shoe so uh, that but I think I'm right in saying it's the green one was it the green one that was from the video from the movie I thought it was the green one that was from the movie but the red one's got the um, the wild stallions on the back of it so maybe it's a red one from the movie why am I even saying this I can just show you here's Bill and Ted and a picture of them wearing the shoes and you'll then know which one it is the green or the red uh, but the last thing to do before we finish up this video is to go to the look at the back of the green ones because uh, like I said you'll see that the branding on the back there is not anything to do with the movie and uh, it's just a standard Adidas branding on the back uh, and then coming back uh, we might as well come back and look at the red shoe because that's the one that's got the wild stallions on the back and definitely features uh, parts of the movie the Bill and Ted's in there uh, like I said I couldn't find anything about Kid Cudi on either shoe I'm not entirely sure how he features in all of this um, but like you know you might know and you'll be telling us in the comments down below uh, and um, but it's uh, you know what caught my eye was the shoe not the collaboration, not the movie. It was the shoe itself that I looked at and thought, you know what, that's a cool shoe. I want to look into that and bring it to the channel. And that's exactly what I've done. Uh, so it's time now, though, for me to chip off. And thank you guys for checking out the content. I hope you appreciate it. I um, hope you appreciate me managing to keep going with this daily content, even in very difficult times with uh, with technology not working around my gaff. Um, but we're getting there little by little, day by day, into year three as we keep growing this channel. So thanks for checking out the content. Thanks for checking in every day. And because I do this every single day, that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.